I play the role of Kane, who is uh, Natalie Portman's character's husband. And uh, he is a soldier that goes on a mission into this thing called the Shimmer, where anyone who goes in, uh, nobody comes out. It's this area that's ever ex slowly expanding on the uh, Gulf Coast of the United States. And he's the first person that's come back, but he has not come back the way that he came in. He is very sick, he's very odd, and he's having organ failure, and he's dying. And so uh, Lena, Natalie's character, decides to join the mission to go into the Shimmer to get answers and to figure out, one, why did he go? Why did he decide to go? What is the Shimmer? And is there something in there that will help save his life? Well, I've been friends with Alex. I, 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 we worked on Ex Machina together, Alex Garland, and we became really close friends after that. And also, just as a collaborator, there's nobody else like him. He's just such a visionary and such a, a great, um, great person to work with. So I was just ready to do anything that he was doing next. So when he said, I've got something that I think might be good, I said, I'm in. And, um, and then I read it, and I just really loved that within this wild world, uh, this bizarre, psychedelic, disturbing story, at the center of it is this marriage and um, the destruction of a marriage. The Shimmer is this phenomenon that's occurring uh, that's an ever-expanding area uh, that there's a border, but it's quite, um, uh, it's kind of, you can see it, it looks like that. <laughs> and once people go into that area, they don't come out. Now, once you're in the area, basically what's, what you're seeing is that everything is refracted. Uh, not only light, but genetically things get refracted. So creatures that you've never seen before, plant life that you've never seen before. Um, at, the, at the very essence of the DNA, something's changing. And the cause of this whole thing seems to possibly be, potentially, an extraterrestrial threat. What appealed to me most about this project was getting a chance to work with my pal Alex Garland again, who uh, is a, a good friend, but also one of the most exciting writers and directors that's working right now. And so I just jumped at the chance to, you know, dive into another one of his worlds that are so unique and, and yet so specific. Well, it's an incredible group of actors. Natalie, Tessa Thompson, Jennifer Jason Lee, Tuva, uh, Gina Rodriguez, uh, Tuva Novotny, Gina Rodriguez. They're, they're just um, s uh, so, so great. And Benedict Wong as well. Such an amazing voice. That guy's a, such a great actor. So. Um, I didn't get a chance as much because of the nature of my character to have a lot of scenes together, but just to be among such a strong cast, um, and particularly such a strong cast of women, was really exciting. Well, the, the, the nature of the, of the movie was kind of a dark, deep one, so, you know, there, there may be, and also because of the fact that I was shooting another movie at the same time, it was, it was just really fast and really quick. Um, but there, there was a lot of moments. What I love about Alex is that he, within this very specific, smart, um, precise world, he has a looseness to it. So um, there was scenes, there was one scene in particular that was really a pretty graphic scene where I'm cutting open one of my fellow soldiers and you see something inside that's moving. And just the nature of it was so frenetic and um, had such an intense energy and, and the way that he was shooting it because it was kind of supposed to be like uh, found footage. So it was the DP with a small handheld camera and Alex next to him with a flashlight doing like weird lighting effects. And, and then I just kind of went with it and went down to the water and started splashing myself. And, and you know, it was, just, it was just a fun, almost guerrilla style of filmmaking that was unexpected with a movie this, this large. Well, I think it does what great sci-fi does, which is it, it um, uses bizarre, fantastical ideas to to say something very deeply about the human condition. So I think, I hope people are left, one, exhilarated and thrilled by this bizarre, psychedelic, frightening world, but also um, the big question of, you know, they're, they're left thinking about it and processing it for a while, because it's not, a, it's not a movie with easy answers. You know, you have to bring something to it, but I think it can be a very rewarding experience. Well, I think the ones that are seen are so out there and so wild. I mean, some of these visual designs that that Alex and his team have have put together um, are so beyond anything that I could have imagined. And particularly the way that the uh, plant life mixes with 
uh, sentient creatures and how those things combine are, are very haunting.